Hello YouTube, Casey9CUK here, and we got some stuff in the mail, so it's time for a new video. And in star 8407 and a wide angle lens. We get a lot of complaints about this microscope not being usable, it's total junk, and I'm here to tell you it's a great product. Uh, I bought this with my own money just so we could do this video. I've set them up for other people. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, guys, we're back, and the 8407, I got it out of the box. It's brand new. Still got the pretty sticker on it. We'll take that off here. And we just set it in the holder. And one of the main complaints you get about this microscope, and people say, well, there's no room to work underneath it. So let's go ahead and raise it up a little bit. Let me kind of see the work platform there. I'm trying to get something here for size. Let's just get something here real quick. So let's let's say, you know, that now, A, people say, well, you can't see enough of the part you're working on. See, there's, there's not enough uh, visual ability to see what you're working on. So you can only see a very small part. That's number one. Number two, they say, well, this is way too close. There's no way you can get in there with a soldering gun, uh, like a soldering pen like this. And obviously you want the light out of your way. But you could still solder in with this. I mean, it's ridiculous to say there's not enough room. You can't do it. This is mounted wrong right now. Most people don't even know that. So let's address that first. Okay? Let's take a look at this real close. I'm going to slide it out here. I haven't mounted it. It's just sitting in there. But most people say, well, this is how it's supposed to be mounted, which makes this as high as it can go right there. Okay? So this is as much space as you can get. All right? Which gives you, we'll call it roughly three inches. Okay? Which, in my opinion, I can work within three inches. Okay? But the field of view is kind of narrow. All right? So let's take this out and I can show you something. So we're going to loosen the screws a little bit. We're going to slide this out. All right, out of the holder. And you notice the mount is all the way up. Okay, if you look here closely, and let me get something to point with here real quick. Yeah, this will work. The old pencil. All right. So, that's kind of hard to do this on film. You see there's a groove right there. Okay? And that is for mounting. Those mounting, that mounting ring has screws. And that's where those screws are supposed to sit, in this groove down at the bottom. Now, you also have a groove at the top here, okay? This is where everybody mounts it because it shows that in the manual, okay? And everybody's like, oh, yeah, that's where your mounts, and you can't, you don't get any room, and you have to have it all the way up to the top, okay? That is not true. You can mount it, and people say, well, you got to have the wide-angle lens to do that, too. That's also not true. So you can mount it right there. And that gives you, you know, A, you can get a lot further away, okay? Gives you, you know, almost, oh, let's call it six and, oh, almost six and a half inches compared to three inches. And obviously you can go all the way down. Okay, so that's one kind of myth that people misunderstand about this microscope. Uh, a lot of the reviews I've seen, a lot of people that have, you know, referenced other videos, and I'm not calling out any other YouTube videos, you know, those guys, it's, it's a lot of work to do these videos, guys, okay, so, you know, two, let's call it two inches to be fair, probably closer, a little over two, so all the way down to two, all the way up to six, no problem, okay, now working here, yeah, this would be kind of difficult, you've got a piece here, so let's just put something in here real quick for reference, we'll take the old, uh, user manual, put something on, because I've got something here with thermal compound on here. It's a BHF module. Out of a radio, it needs to be repaired. So I'd set that there. And obviously, that brings it up a little bit, so let's just say for the sake of conversation, the pencil is a pair of tweezers, and I've got my soldering iron here. Uh, you could still work in here. It is close, okay? And your field of view is still, um, you know, a little narrow. All right, but with the simple upgrade we're going to show you now, it's still doable, okay? So I don't understand if people say, oh, you can't side or you can't, it's impossible, there's no room. And, and I think it's because they had it mounted wrong. I, I think it really is that simple uh, because everybody I know that uses one of these loves it, uh, myself included. All right, so 
let's go ahead and do the quick mod and all you need to do on that is I recommend you raise this up as high as it will go and other, and other people uh, I see reviews say oh the wide angle lens you can't put it in the mount you've got to use a different mount that also isn't true uh, wide angle lens works fine so let's get the wide angle lens here let's get it out of the box and it comes in a nice little pouch and inside the pouch should be a nice lens hopefully it's not cracked or broken I should have checked all this um, I'm sure it won't be they're pretty rugged there it is nice cover okay and you're gonna screw in this end right here all right we're gonna have to remove this UV protective cover right here first okay and that just unscrews that's why we got to have these uh, screws tight in here um, so this doesn't spin careful it's gonna want to drop on you try not to touch the lens that is a UV protective lens in there okay you can see the lens if I move it it's hard to see but you see the reflection and light there okay I'm gonna put this in the bag over here keep it protected we're gonna take out our new lens our upgraded lens and this makes this microscope awesome okay we're gonna put it in there now okay everybody wants to just go ahead and crank on that I always like to go in reverse a little bit to make sure I've got the threads lined up this is another thing everybody says oh it cross threads it doesn't cross thread if you take your time so we're going right in there no problem and you hear it stop now I hold the top of the of the microscope a little bit because this turns this is the focus and I just snug it up that's all I do you don't have to crank on it and there you go I'm great complete and it's ready to use so we're gonna come back and I'll fire up the microscope and give you some examples of how this works so we're gonna go ahead and we got it all set up we got the microscope plugged in we're gonna take our protective cover off here and I love this little cover keep this and I always put this back on when I'm ever and I'm using a microscope set that off to the side and uh, yeah let's raise up the camera a little bit here give me just a second okay we're back and we're at the top of uh, the adjustment range so this is all the way up as high as it'll go we just turned the microscope on we took the protective film off we're gonna go ahead and zoom in here so we could see what we could see and the screen quality is exceptional it is not blurry it is awesome I don't know if the video is doing justice I'm doing a 4k video just for this reason so hopefully you guys can see the quality is exceptional the screen is crystal clear looks fantastic okay now we're seeing both transistors I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the part here this is a VH like I said VHF module so you're seeing both those transistors so the field of view is really good and you're looking at about six inches okay so let's go ahead and come back down all right actually we're gonna stay up here and I'm gonna do some a little bit of movie magic here all right so let's go ahead and tilt down all right back out a little bit here sorry about the shoddy camera skills here get a little more light on the situation you guys can see a little better that causes horrible reflection all right so just under six inches tons and tons of room way more than enough room to work let's go ahead and lower it down move my part around there this is usually about where I work okay well let's go all the way to the bottom just so you can kind of see if you wanted to get really close to something which is great for inspection work may not be perfect for soldering okay so all the way down there let's go ahead and we'll take a look at the screen real quick and you're gonna have some unfortunately you're gonna have some light reflection there on the screen let me turn these lights around so maybe we can zoom in a little better you can see see a little better here so you can get really close this is very handy for inspecting things you're never going to solder something this small anyway but for inspection work it's fantastic okay 
So it works really, really well. Now, yes, in this case, you, you've only got, you know, a couple inches. You're not going to solder underneath that. That's totally unrealistic, but you don't need to. Okay. Well, let's get up to a, what I call workable distance um, that I usually use this at. This is like here. Let's take the real quick. Let's go ahead and we're going to come down here so you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Take a quick measurement. And this isn't exact. Like I said, I'm just winging it. All right. So I'll call that a uh, little, little under three inches. Let's, let's crank it up a little bit. There we go. So now you got some room. So we'll call that, yeah, almost four inches. Okay. Is it four inches exactly? No, it's almost four inches. So let's go to the crack in the circuit board that I'm going to be fixing with this microscope. So there you go. There's your crack in the ceramic board, and those traces are all going to have to be fixed. But the point is, you have plenty of room down here to work. You know, if you have a, <clears throat> a soldering tool, you know, uh, like a tweezers, which is pencil will represent. You know, hold it, and you, you're, you're soldering here. You've got plenty of room to work. And obviously, I put these lights out of the way, and you know, but plenty of room, plenty of room to solder. So this is a great microscope. I hope this video was helpful to somebody that was on the fence of getting this microscope. You know, <clears throat> but yep. Let's go back up and just kind of show you that. <clears throat> Excuse me. Allergies are killing me. That's why my breathing's horrible. But hopefully, if you were on the fence with this microscope, this kind of helped you make a decision. And, you know, it's a great microscope for something on a budget. This thing is fantastic. There's nothing out there you can beat it. It's under $300. Even with uh, the upgraded lens, it's still under $300, the package. And it's just great. Down below the video here, you have a bunch of affiliate links. It really helps out the channel if you buy through there. Contrary to popular belief, it does not cost you any more to buy through the affiliate link. It is the same price that if you go directly to Amazon. So please use those affiliate links if you're in the market. Please like and subscribe and share the video. We've got a bunch of more new content coming up. I've just obviously bought new lighting, new microphones, cameras, everything. So the content is going to start coming faster and faster and faster. Please leave a comment if you have any comment or videos you'd like to see in the future. we got stuff coming up on field strength meters uh, just brought out by Surecom. We've got stuff coming out about some mobile antennas. We're going to have a mobile antenna kind of testing uh, scenario set up between four or five mobile antennas to see which one performs the best and compare it against some of the newer uh, antennas. We've got a lot of stuff coming, so stay tuned. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.